Okay, I'm just going to give you a, a quick um, a quick run through using Photopia. So I've just gone online, put Photopia in here, uh, clicked new project, and then I'm going to. I've changed uh, this one here. It came up, I think, on pixels. I've changed it to millimeters. So I've gone for 200 by 300. It, it's just um, you, you, the size of the canvas you work on. So we're going to click create. Um, and then what you need to do is drag in the images that you want to use. So I've got here some images. So I'm going to drag this one in. Fingers crossed that will load up. Uh, there we go. Now, if you're happy with the image, you just need to press enter on your keyboard to kind of accept that and you can keep going. Now, I want to get one more image because I want to show you one other thing to do. So I've got two pictures, each looking like in a different direction. So I'm going to put this one over the top. And so one thing that you can do to, and I'm going to press enter again, now that's come up, to do a distortion of you kind of looking both ways at once is change the opacity of the image at the top. Now you see this one is a lighter gray. This shows that I'm working on this, on, on this layer. Okay, so and I want to be on that layer right now. So move this opacity down to 50%. So now you can see both. So it looks like you're looking in different ways. That's a nice um, distortion that you can do quite quickly. Now I'm going to hide this bottom one now. So that's the opacity like that. I'm going to take that opacity back up to 100% and show you a few other things um, to work on. Now do remember to be on the layer you want to work on. So I was here, it would let me work on this layer that I can't see what I'm doing. If it looks like you're not doing the right thing, just make sure that you're on the layer that you want to work on. Um, so I want to show you a few things. You can go into filter, you can go into filter gallery, and if you head into here, there's lots of different filters you can put on to distort. So there's that one there. If I click on this one, you could go like that. Um, watercolor, it's going to make me look like a watercolor painting. So lots of distortions that you can have a look at and see if if you like any of them. If you think there's um, anything that you know that you could you could do with that most of them when you go on you can adjust them over here so let's go for ink outline so you can adjust adjust things like this one on the light intensity let me move it it's not liking that maybe it's a bit slow there we go it's just taking its time but you can adjust these and they sometimes it changes quite a lot how the image comes up so just explore, have a look around with that one. So I'm going to exit, and there we go, from there. Uh, so if you want to keep it, click OK, but I don't want to, so I'm just going to click on the X. Another thing you can do in filter, instead of going into filter gallery, you can go on any of these things here. So you can blur it, distort it, um, stylize, all different things. Now distort's quite good. There's lots of options within here. So you could do something like a kaleidoscope, which is quite fun. Um, <laughs> So there I am. Uh, if you're not seeing enough, if you want to see a bit more, um, change <laughs> change the angle, see how that goes. Um, change the amount of mirrors. So you can go less, so mirrors are fewer, or you can go more. Uh, you know, it goes completely um, abstract, which, you know, starts off with your face, ends up as a flower or something. Um, so you could do that. I'm going to exit that for now. I'll just look at one more in here, but I would like you to just explore, you know, see what you can do. So distort another one. If we went to twirl, I think this might be a little bit like the, the bacon one that we looked at. You know, remember kind of one side of his face kind of went down a little bit. So you can do this and you can change the angle on it. So it can do more or less or head in one, <laughs> in one direction or the other direction. Um, and if you found one that you liked, you can just click OK and keep it if you want. Sometimes just a slight distortion is better than a crazy one, but, you know, that is totally up to you. OK, so explore those. So they're all under filter. Another thing that you can do is uh, if you go to the um, here, I'm going to right click on here. You can pick a rectangular select and an ellipse select. We're going to look at these two for now. So if we go for rectangular, if you were to take a small section, a very, very thin section of this, I mean, you can experiment with large sections as well, thin section, and then 
it's going to want me to rasterize the image. So you right click on it, click rasterize. Now you can press Control Alt T, and this is a free transform, so I can move it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out. There we go, the stretch. So it's going to like do a kind of a distortion there. And when you're happy with what it's done, you click OK. And so I've distorted it by stretching that section. You could you could draw these boxes in any, you know, either horizontally or vertically. And it'll just stretch those sections out. You can also, you could do the same thing um, or a different thing with the ellipse. So you could get a circular part. Now this time you could you could uh, transform it and, and stretch it, but I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments. Now there's a lot of things here that you can explore to change things. So if I went to Curves on here, I could change the way the colour looks nice. It's getting lighter as I do that. And if you click on another part of the line, you can change that again. Um, and here, so it depends if you want to change it subtly or a lot, or you know how how you want to change it. So you just have a little play until you think, oh, that's weird. I like that. Um, and when you've got something you like, I'm going to click OK on that one. Um, and then you could do another section. So they can overlap. I've got one here. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments. And this time, I'll just pick something different. I'm going to go for Gradient Map. If these, these are coming up over here, but if they come up on top of your picture, you can always move these so you can see what you're doing. Click on here, and you can pick all different colorways. So have a look through if there's any that you like. I quite like that one. Just click OK. And then we've got that. Once you've finished with, with taking sections, um, just click Select and Deselect. And then you've got this here. Now, another one I want to show you is the Clone Tool. Now, if I right click on this, this will probably come up as a brush tool initially. Um, but you right click on it and go down to Clone Tool there. Now, <laughs> so I had to clone something a minute ago. Um, so in order to do it, you need to press Alt and then click on the area you want to clone. So I want to clone this eye. Now I want to make it a bit bigger. So if I click up to here, I'm going to make that size just to about 50, I think. Maybe, maybe 60, let's see. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to clone this eye. So now if I just, I'm just clicking with my mouse, I can put as many eyeballs on here as I want. And if you drag it, it's it's doing even more. So just, you know, talk about distortions, you've got like floating eyes everywhere. So that's kind of weird and cool. Um, and obviously you can, you could, if you click Alt again on a different section, if I wanted to clone this part, I can clone that, move that around. Ooh dragged then so it's taken a bigger section so that's just another way to distort so have a little play there's lots more things you can do but we won't overdo it so remember if you want to if you want to do that um, opacity with two images you just reduce the opacity on one so you can see through the two um, you've got filter you can go on the filter gallery, you can go on any of these, have a play and just try these ones out. And on each of these, there'll be different things that you can do. Um, you can always go to image adjustments and do all these changes. And the way I showed you was first to either take a, a rectangular select or an ellipse select. And if you do that, then you can change just that section. So when you go to image adjustments, it will just do a section for you instead of the whole thing but it's totally up to you um, what you want to do there. If we try levels this time, move it over here. If you look at that section, you see it's getting darker, lighter. Um, it's just, just playing around. So have a little play. And like I said, select, deselect. Other top tips, for those of you who have not used this before, like I said, remember to be on the layer that you want to work on. If you need any new layers, you just go layer new um, and you can end up with new layers. Another good one is to duplicate your layers. So if you if you wanted another, if, if you really liked what you've done, but you want to take it further, you can duplicate this layer, which means you've got one that you can keep. And if you turn the, the ones below off, 
um, or above it particularly, um, you can work on this layer. So I could take this further, but I could always come back and, and compare it to how it was before. Okie dokie, I look forward to seeing what you get done.